everybody and welcome back to my channel. How the hell are you? Oh my god. I cannot stress how excited I am for this next video. Holy okay. Hey guys, just editing some videos. Classic. If you're new to this channel and you don't know this face, then please subscribe and hit that bell. And if you're not new, then please like this video, comment, let's get my shit out there. Okay. So, I'm wearing an American sweetheart, Courtney Love, and we are celebrating America today. Oh God. Anyways, you have no idea. So, let me paint you a picture. Couple, maybe like over a month ago, my friend Chad and Sarah went to the U.S. of A. to do some shopping. Now, there's always one thing that I always say if I were going to the U.S. because I don't really go there often, and if I do, I'm taking a plane, so I can't really bring stuff back. But the only thing I ever want to bring back from America are is cereal. Cereal is the only thing that I really care about because I love cereal because I'm like a toddler. I break everything, I lose everything, and I have the attention span of a six-year-old. So I am super excited because my friends Sarah and Chad went there. They're this lovely married couple. Sarah is an American who lives here now, but we won't judge her on that. But they went and bought me cereal. And not only did they buy me cereal, but the f***ers wrapped it up for me so I don't even know what it is, okay? Now I have had this for, uh, I'm gonna say like a month. It's been in my house, Ryan is over it, he wants it gone. So we, well, it's not gonna be gone until I eat it all. But I am so excited. So they have numbered them one to four. They got me two other things, but I'm waiting for another video. I'm doing another sort of Taste Test Tuesday. This isn't a Taste Test Tuesday. This is a surprise bag tasting. You know I'm going to eat it on the internet because I'm excited. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My friend Chad is an amazing artist. And I'm going to have all of his stuff linked below. Here is a photo here of some of his art. Oh, God, thank you guys so much for caring. People have been sending me stuff. My friend Ham, who I credited in my one of my other videos um, for watching, Ham, Janet, whatever, she got me those little tablets that when you eat them, you can like bite into like um, lemons and things like that, and it changes the taste. Like, I'm gonna eat a whole fing lemon. It's probably gonna hurt my tummy, but it's not gonna hurt my face, so who cares? But I am so excited to do that. But what I'm really excited for is this goddamn cereal behind me. So without further ado, let's open it up. Thank you, America, for not having the standards that like other countries have and making the best cereal ever. I'm sorry. Not standards. <laughs> Sugary palates. Okay, so we're going to start off with number one, obviously. I have no idea. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tear it open. This is the first one, guys. Can you see it? I'm opening it. Oh, okay, okay, no Golden Grams. I thought we had Golden Grams here. I mean, I haven't had them in many, many, many years. Golden Grams. Now, a lot of people don't like them because I'm not, but whatever. But some people don't like them because it gets quite um, soggy. But guess what, Chad and Sarah? I actually love Golden Grams, and I always have. I haven't seen them in a while, but oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Look how big this is. It's a family size, and guess what? It's just me. Ryan's not gonna eat this. Oh crap, I'm excited. I haven't had this in years. This one is the Golden Grams, or Golden Crisps. I'm super excited about this. I know what this is gonna taste like because I've had it before. One thing that I totally miss about cereal from being a kid is the toys. Mmm, pretty much smells the exact same. Now, I'm just gonna use a little thing like this because I don't want you to, ooh. <laughs> well, that went everywhere. Important guys, when eating cereal, you must tie the bag. Well, this is what it went everywhere. I always do this to keep it fresh. I mean, if you really want to keep it fresh, put it in Tupperware or have like a chip clip. Wow, that that actually went everywhere. 
Mmm. Mmm. I'm Kylie Jenner eating it without milk. Okay. I got my cute little milk dude. Love this. Ryan's mother gave this to me because I'm obsessed with it. I've got my little spoon, which I don't normally eat them with little spoons because I love cereal so much. I need a big one. I mean, mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna enjoy it. It's so good. But, mm. Chad and Sarah, I want to applaud you for choosing a cereal that not a lot of people like, but I do, but also bring me back to my childhood. Mm. Children, if you're watching this, do not eat with your mouth full, but I'm doing my job, okay? This is what we have to do. Okay. Mm. That was good. Do you spoon the milk or do you the milk? I'm not Kylie Jenner. I need milk with my cereals. Now, I feel like I should give the nutritional value of this. But I'm not. That's not what this is about. This is about being fun and having fun. <laughs> okay. So, Golden Grams. All right, so let's do the second one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna close my eyes, because, well, it's, okay. I've made a tear. Here we go, guys. And our second box is this. <gasps> oh my God, s'mores? S'more cereal? I've heard about this. This is from Post. This is also from Post. They're both from Post. Post? Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited about this. Okay, satisfy your s'more appetite right from your cereal box with chocolatey goodness, sweet marshmallows, and delicious honey made graham crackers. Never has s'mores indoors ever been so delicious. Now, something you should know about me is when I got together with my partner almost 10 years ago, um, Ryan used to make me s'mores out of the oven. I make them all the time now because I live in the city and I don't have a fire. So guys, I'm so excited about the s'mores. S'mores. I'm excited about this one. No. Oops, okay. Apparently I've never poured cereal before. This one I'm super excited about because this one has three different kinds. So you have what looks to be marshmallows. Yep, they taste just like a Trix marshmallow. Okay. Let's milk it. Yes. Super stoked. Okay. I want to make sure I get one of everything at first. How the hell are you? Yep. Oh. S'mores. Okay. So, it didn't really, it gave me no like real indication that I was eating a s'more. I mean, yeah, there's marshmallows, there's chocolate, there's um, graham cracker, but there was no, I don't know. It, it was delicious, but it was sugar. So I mean, let's get real. But there was no real indication that I was eating s'more. Okay. Oh! This is so much fun. I'm having a great time. Now, on to number three. Again, closing my eyes so you guys get to see it first. And our third one is... Oops. Oh my God. Donut O's Pink Donuts. Now, okay, another interesting fact about me. I waited almost... I'm gonna say I was maybe almost the first time I ever had a pink frosted donut. Now these are pink donuts, artificially flavored. Um, oh my god, the back reminds me of like my French textbooks when I was a kid. A bit cool. Anyways, so this guy, uh, I went to an all-store meeting one time and Smitty, you know who you are, I hope you're still watching. Um, he actually went and got us a bunch of donuts for the meeting and there was a pink donut. And guess what guys, it was not frost, it was not flavored strawberry. It was just a pink donut. I'm fucking stoked for this. Now, let's do it. Mm -mm -mm. 
Uh, for off the bat, it looks like pink Fruit Loops. It does not smell like pink Fruit Loops. And I mean, pink donut. What is the flavor? Is it gonna be strawberry? Ooh, they have chocolate as well, I see. But Sarah and Chad, you did it right by getting me the pink ones. All right, gonna put a little bit in there. Guys, congratulate me. I did not spill a single one. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do the, the little cow. See, it's a little cow with milk in it. We're gonna add the milk. And now we're gonna fucking eat it. Let's go. Um... I'm not done my milk, so let's just put a little bit more in there, shall we? Hmm, does anyone else do that? If you don't finish your milk, you just top it up? I don't know what this is supposed to be flavored as. It doesn't taste like raspberry, it doesn't taste like strawberry. It just is artificial and it's pink donut flavored. You know what it might be? It might be like vanilla with a hint of like strawberry or something, but... Okay. Um... I'm looking at the nutritional value and it's not that bad, it's not crazy. Okay guys, we are gonna do the last box, box number four. Ooh, it, this one sounds, this one sounds a little flaky. Now it looks like a big one as well, but number four is this one. <gasps> what? Dippin' Dots Banana Split Flavor. Oh my gosh. General Mills, Kellogg's, Post. America, you are killing it. America, killing cereal. Dread. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Everywhere can switch. Oh my gosh, so this is Dippin' Dots. So I guess this is like that um, ice cream stuff. But you know what guys? Who cares? Let's get to eating. America, thank you so much. Okay. These came all the way from America, you guys. They're technically foreigners. Okay, now. Oh, whew, this smells. <sighs> Not like a banana split, but. Now, guys, I would also like to let you know that I am using different ones for each one. I don't want to contaminate any sort of flavoring. Um, oh, <laughs> so this is, okay, so did I even get any dots? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scoop through because what there is in here are there's like the little, I guess they're like the freeze dried dots. And then we have what I've got is banana, cherry, chocolate, little things. You don't care what's inside the box, you just care how it tastes. So again, we're gonna take my little girl, Bessie we'll call her, I guess. And we're gonna eat some fucking cereal. Okay, oops. Um, okay. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> the banana flavor is there. If you like banana cereal, which I do, they really kill, like, they got me some things that some people would just not eat, but I'll pretty much eat anything except for mushrooms and olives and fried, dried kiwi. Okay, so this is my thing. There are, it's really good. You could do just all banana if you wanted. Okay, I'm like really digging this. Oh, I'm just like into it. I love the box too. No. Just so you know, this does not stay crispy for very long. Oh my God, guys, thank you so much for watching that and watching me eat on the internet, but I almost forgot one thing, a Pop-Tart. Now, if you know me, which I kind of hope you're starting to, but I haven't ever told you this, if you ever ask me what my favorite kind of cookie is, I'm gonna say a Pop-Tart. I know they're pastries, but this is, this also came all the way from America with my friend Amanda. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Amanda, for this. You know I love Pop-Tarts, and I shamefully told you, give me one of those so I can eat it. Now, I forgot what flavor this was until I realized that my friend Amanda is a basic bitch. <laughs> and as soon as I look at it and I smell it, I know exactly what it is. It is pumpkin spice, and since it's October, I'm super stoked about this. Now, 
Like I said, this came all the way from America, and we know that sometimes when things come from America, they're damaged. We got damaged goods. <laughs> it was in her bag, it was everywhere. Now, it looks delicious. Let me just, let me just. Yum! It's got white frosting, which I would assume is like vanilla, Hey America Sweetheart, and then it's got red, chocolate, like brown, and yellow and orange, so we know it's Thanksgiving. Nope! So let's eat it! Okay, it is broken and I sit on my bed, so I'm gonna use some of the wrapping from that amazing cereal that I'm gonna eat forever. Uh, thank you so much. Now, here's something else I've always dreamed about having. If any of you have ever seen the show Seinfeld, on the top of Seinfeld's like, um, like microwave or whatever it is, conventional oven, he always has a ton of cereal. He's probably got about 10 different boxes. I have always wanted to have like 10 boxes of cereal on the go at all times. The problem is, is that I'm gonna f***ing eat all those cereals, so my boyfriend doesn't allow it to happen. He tries to keep me as healthy as possible. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try this pumpkin spice Pop-Tart. Oh, one of the cereals cut the roof of my mouth. Mmm. Pop-Tarts can be eaten one of three ways. Out of the package, like how I'm eating them now. Out of the toaster, which I would assume more people, most people do. And I mean, these might actually taste better out of the thing because it's like pumpkin spice or pumpkin pie. But the way that I eat a Pop-Tart, is frozen. I love frozen Pop-Tarts. And when we were kids, there used to be a kind of Pop-Tart that was meant to be frozen. And then they realized we don't have to make a frozen Pop-Tart, you can throw it in the freezer. And that's what I always do. I always throw my Pop-Tarts in the freezer, but I forgot about this and wanted to eat it subjectively, so I'm eating it normally. Now, I don't love it. I get, I get the pumpkininess, but it's a little dull. If you ask me, if it wasn't for the top thick ass top frosting, like it's thicker than normal. Sure, you get that allspice ness in it, but it's not that great. It is never gonna beat the s'more one, the chocolate or raspberry, the traditionals, but this is technically the first one I've eaten that is like um, a novelty one. I always go on their website, I wish I wish they just mail you Pop-Tarts. Like, there's so many different kinds, and we don't live in America, so we have pretty standard ones, but thank you so much, Amanda, for being that basic bitch and letting me try your basic bitch Pop-Tart. Just kidding. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know I'm coming to your work, so we can do a mukbang in your snack drawer. This bitch's snack drawer is out of control. I don't know how she stays so thin, but she does, and she has one of the largest snack drawers in her office that I've ever seen. Her coworkers are so lucky. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the people who helped sponsor this video, Sarah, Chad, and Amanda. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you again. Bye, guys.